This is one of the most famous pubs in London. If you were to research top pubs for history or architecture, the old Cheshire Cheese is sure to come up, or the Cheshire Cheese. One of the reasons that this building is so incredibly important is, though it, obviously it says there, rebuilt in 1667, it's believed that the cellar dated to the 13th century downstairs was originally a monastery. So some incredibly famous people were also supposed to have drunk here. You see, you've got the philosopher, uh, the French philosopher Voltaire. Um, you've got Dr. Johnson, who was one of the writers of the, the later dictionaries, the Oxford dictionaries. Um, you've got down here, importantly, you've got uh, one of the presidents of the United States, e.g. Theodore Roosevelt, um, Teddy, and an assortment of other names, including, of course, Charles Dickens, because you wouldn't want to leave him out, would you? Look at that. How about that, eh? You're gonna have to duck as you go down here. Sort of I can't see ball. anything. It's that dark. This is what we think it might be 13th century from the old monastery. Right. Mm -hmm. So here we are now, downstairs in the cellar, which is believed to be a monastery. If you just quickly, cameraman, look at some of these ceilings for me. Don't worry about getting out of the way, Glenn. Don't worry about getting out of the way. And you can see it's absolutely fantastic. This was one of the most badly lit pubs in London, and it was very atmospheric. As you can tell already, it was completely dependent upon candles with no Upstairs, reason. there's a picture and plaque of where Dr. Johnson and Charles Dickens sat at different times in history, and they were very close. But as you can see, this is one of the most impressive historic pubs because of its cellar, not just because of its impressive exterior.